Hello, and welcome to the reading guide for section 7.3 to 7.6 of the OpenStax textbook. In these particular sections, we will be introducing the idea of conservation of energy. We begin with section 7.3 on the idea of gravitational potential energy. We look at the work done against gravity. Now, this idea I encourage you to pay some attention to. However, I find an idea that many students seem to have difficulty with, the path and dependence of the work done by gravity, and thus I have created for you a short follow-up video to this section. One thing I would like to point out is that I will not be using the notation PE for potential energy. To me, it looks like P times E, so I will not use it. Instead of PE, I will use the symbol U for potential energy. And so the gravitational potential energy will be written U little g. You also have a very important discussion on the idea of the system here in this paragraph. Be sure to give this some attention. The next subsection goes into converting between potential and kinetic energy, and you should pay some attention to this. And then we move into exploring the idea of using potential energy to simplify calculations. Many of the problems that we will do with conservation of energy could have been done with our good old F equals MA framework. However, many of these calculations will be done more simply using energy. And also, more importantly, the idea of conservation of energy is an idea that crosses the various disciplines of science. You'll hear conservation of energy discussed in biology and chemistry much more than you will Newton's second law. So it's important that we think about how to connect these different ideas. So example 7.6, you have the work done by gravity in terms of a potential energy problem. Lots of good examples in this, converting uh, potential energy to kinetic energy, example 7.7. .7. You'll have quite a few homework problems along this particular type of line. So this, this example probably is worth paying some, paying some attention to.